this kind of program would best benefit those people who want to garden versus actually going into the community and trying to persuade people to garden because that takes a different approach and it goes beyond food security. It goes beyond food. As a facilitator, the community's needs always come first. And it's hard to watch that because we are also in an educational system where there are sort of experts and sort of people who are not experts. So as experts, we come in thinking, oh, well, this is what they need, but that's what has failed for so many years, coming in with that mindset. So coming in with letting the community decide what they want in the day is the most important part. Partnerships are very, very community specific. So for example, if you're working with like a senior living center, it's not about necessarily the food they're growing, it's about the type of spices. It reminds them of home. It reminds them of a time of their lives. And it's, in a lot of seniors, aging can bring about issues of isolation, loneliness. So anything that can remind them of home is something that they want. And what we've seen in downtown Ithaca and some of the senior living centers is that more of the gardens are herb-based. And that's an, an example of being community specific and understanding community knowledge because you're going into a population that has knowledge of the old days and they want to remember the old days and honor the old days. So the partnership's also about being community specific. It encourages community involvement and participation at all levels but then it also empowers communities to commit to long-term change. It's interesting because the bean plant grows perfectly around the corn. It doesn't suffocate the corn at all. It actually, they grow together. Thinking about seed to suburb facilitation, it's a partnership, but it's not defined based on what we think a partnership is to be. Because a lot of times we think it's a 50-50 thing. When working with communities, it's never 50-50. It could be 80-20. It could be 2040. I mean, it, it, might not even, it, it might not even be 100%. And, and we have to rid ourselves of the idea of what we think a partnership is and rethink the idea of a partnership. And that's what Seed to Supper is all about when it comes to community development.